Klima by Christine Grace Natividad Tome. Illustrated by Ruby Abara. Daddy, I'm ready for school! Klima shouted as she left her room. Let me just finish fixing the door. This will be quick. Daddy replied. Klima watched her daddy open the toolbox and replace the broken doorknob. All done! He winked at Klima and pointed to her room to remind her to turn off the lights. He said with a smile, Klima loves the earth! She continued and then ran to her room to switch off the light. At school, Klima was playing with her friend Julia. Klima, I've got balloons in my bag. Let's fill them up with water, Julia said. The bell rang and they ran to the classroom for their next class. Klima left the faucet dripping. That would be fine. It's just a little amount of water, Klima said to herself. During their art class, teacher Camille asked them to paint a picture of the mountains. Make the mountains green because we want our mountains filled with trees. Paint some animals too. We don't want empty forests, do we? Klima found it hard to draw animals. She was getting frustrated. She crumpled her paper for the tenth time. Arg, this is hard! Klima exclaimed. I see you're having a hard time. Can we take a break outside after you pick up the trash? Teacher Camille asked. Okay. Klima followed Teacher Camille. Do you know who left this faucet open, Klima? Asked Teacher Camille. I did because I was in a hurry. Klima responded with guilt. Teacher Camille turned off the faucet. I know you've got to hurry, but the earth is also losing time. The little things that we don't do to help the earth will harm us in the future. Throwing garbage everywhere, using too much paper, and leaving the faucet dripping are signs that we don't care for the earth. I know you're a good girl, Klima. Please don't change, she explained. Then she gave Klima a pocket mirror. This will help you understand what can happen in the future. That night, Klima kept on thinking about what teacher Camille said. She took the pocket mirror and looked at her reflection. Klima loves the earth, but... A bright light came out of the mirror and filled her room. When she opened her eyes, she saw herself in school wearing the same clothes she wore that day. It was as if she was watching a replay of her day. She was playing water balloons with Julia, leaving the faucet drip and throwing away papers on the floor. Then she suddenly grew up into a teenager but kept doing the same things. She turned into an old lady and still did the same things over again. She noticed that as she watched herself grow older, the world around her became hotter, drier, and sadder. What's happening? She thought. She saw the pocket mirror on the floor and picked it up. She looked at her reflection and a bright light filled her room once more. She saw herself playing water balloons with Julia again, but this time she turned off the faucet before running back to her class. She went to the art class but only used one paper for her painting. She threw away her trash in the bin. She grew older and kept doing nice things for the earth. The world around her was bright and beautiful. Klima! Klima woke up to her mother's voice. You are sweating, my love. Are you having a nightmare? I think so, mommy. Why, you, why must we love our planet? Klima asked. Our planet is going through a lot, Klima. It's now hotter than usual. We experience super typhoons and the land is drier than before. This is called climate change, Klima's mom explained. Why did that happen? Klima asked. Because people did not take care of the earth. But don't lose hope. I am a scientist, remember? People like me find ways to help the earth get by. Have I told you what mommy does for work? I just need to study rice. 
I do. I'm studying how to make rice live through the hot and dry weather. Other scientists studied how to make rice live with flood. She narrates. What? How? Klimo was amazed. Remember Daddy fixing the door yesterday? He used the toolbox, right? Scientists also use a toolbox called biotechnology. These tools help us make stronger plants and animals so they can survive climate change. They're awesome, Mom. I can't wait to tell my friends about what you do. Klima told her mom. You are awesome too, Klima. You love the Earth. And if we work together, our planet will not change that much. Klima's mom kissed her on the forehead. Go back to sleep now, my love, Klima's mom said as she left the room. Klima checked her drawer and saw the pocket mirror. She closed the drawer and turned off the lamp. Klima loves the air. She whispered and closed her eyes with a smile on her face. The future ahead of her is bright and beautiful. Mm -hmm.